I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another day of 6 o'clock content, and today we should have the new League SBC cards, so we should have the new MLS, I think I know who that is, Gil, I think it is. Uh, we should have, uh, what are the other, there's a Latin America SBC, I'm not sure if that means we're going to get a new card for that. And of course the French League is another league that's out right now, so you would have thought we would get one for that as well. Uh, I would very much appreciate a pack of some description, but I'm not, uh, I'm not that naive to think that we would get one. Uh, we do have the, oh there we go, Prime Electrum Players Pack, untradeable, classic. We do get the bronze and silver upgrades back again if you are into that, which I am, so that's pretty decent. The 81 plus packs for me have not been great, and, and these, these player picks that I was quite excited about yesterday have been dreadful. Uh, I've seen hundreds of these opened across different people's accounts and you either get really lucky and you hit one or two decent ones or you are just screwed over completely. I saw someone had 32, 33 and he got one team of the season and it was the goalkeeper and no, it wasn't Mandanda either, Rajkovic or something. Like, no disrespect to him, but he is the last person you want to see in those player picks if you spot a blue. So, I'm going to stay away from them. I was going to do maybe three more for today's video, but I, I, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not wasting my coins. I will, however, do a lot of those uh, premium league, league own, uh upgrades. So the 25k packs for the French League on Thursday, I will do my fair share of those. Of course, tomorrow we should have the guaranteed team of the seasons as well. They're probably going to do what they did last time which is mix the mls and latin americas together which i don't want obviously because i want a specific mls pick with the chance of packing vela or martinez but you know it is what it is let's have a look to see what the requirements for is uh, for for is for is this for this before we go into the league oh well okay no rating so just seven gold i'll get that complete and we'll have ourselves a little pack opening with two packs brilliant at the end of the video uh but what i'm here today to look at is what cards i mean realistically there should be a liga mx right because the liga mx is in latin america but there isn't because it's only group two this was only just dropped oh there is i'm lying that card looks fantastic uh i say fantastic for a grindable card uh if you do league sbc method then you'll be happy about this i had him in my predictions for Latin America MLS as well, and he looked decent. He does link into some some nice cards. Obviously, would have to go and look at his in-games. His passing looks terrible, but his physicals, dribbling, shooting, and pace in particular look sensational. There's probably a little bit more wrong with it if we look at it closer, but you never know. Uh, not bad. I'm glad he's there, though. It's a shame. I've only just completed the... League MX when they dropped this in the first place and he's only 90 rated compared to the other 89 rated cards but aside from that I am actually looking forward to using him at some point what other league would they have dropped today then I mean it'd be easy for me to just go and check I know they're not going to drop any more for these obviously because why would they even though technically speaking they could uh, because obviously this is it, it's they couldn't I mean they can but they can't there's no Argentinian SBC is there so obviously we're not going to get that. Uh, Saudi, they've already done... Right, MLS. I think this is Gil. Memory serves. That's, it's like Carles Gil, Carles Gil, Charles Gil. Either way, that card looks pretty decent. Again, the physicals could be holding him back. Whether that's stamina related, we'd have to go and check. But uh, very good dribbling, quite pacey, decent in front of goal, good passer. Again, in the predictions, uh, if you missed that. That's a, I would say, spoiler, but why would you go and watch a prediction video for a team that's already out? But yeah, uh, happy to get that one correct. And League One, League Un, League Un, French League. Who are we getting? Who are we getting? Gabriel. Oh, there we go. Not a bad little centre-back. Yet another Brazilian for you to link in with your Thiago Silva Marquinhos and any other Brazilian that you have in there as well. But he looks like a very good centre-back, to be fair. As a League SPC card, that is probably one of the best available. 
Whether you would want to grind the entire league just to get that card, I don't know. Uh, again, would have to look at the in-games, but he looks like he could be pretty, pretty damn capable. And I'm sure that's it, right? So... I might as well have a little refresh of Footbin and see if that is what we've been given for today. There is another player, Silver. Wait, no, he's already in the team, isn't he? Yeah, he's already in the Latin America team of the season. He's just one of those that are, like, really popular. I don't know why. Uh, but, yeah, okay, cool. So, Gabriel Rodriguez and Gil. I'm going to call him Gil because I'm going to mess up his first name or first part of his surname, whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, those three are the cards available, and I'm guessing, obviously, there's no new objective or anything, because otherwise we would have, well, I would have seen it, rather, in the, on the front page of Footbin. But there we go. So, okay, cool beans. Right, tomorrow, of course, we'll have the guaranteed team of the season. And then... I will at some point this week, whether it be tomorrow or whether it be Thursday. Is that the day after tomorrow? I'll have an icon pack, which is from Icon Swaps, because I don't really play on this account that much. But since the last maybe week or two, I've been playing on it a little bit more, and I've gone and actively gone and try and got the icon tokens. I've got like a couple of squad battles games to play, and uh, I will have acquired those. So we'll have an icon pack to open. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to complete this uh, League One Challenge, League One Challenge, get this untradeable pack, because it shouldn't be too difficult to do. We're going to take a look at these cards quickly before we submit that SBC, and then, of course, open up the only the two packs I've got. I'm not, like, gone for a big pack opener or anything. It's like it's a small Prime Electrum and whatever that was, an actual Prime Electrum or something. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll, we'll open them and pack nothing, but still... Gabriel, let's have a look at him first, of course, for the French League. Two-star, two-star, high defensive work rate, low attacking, which is sensational. Uh, you've got good acceleration. Sprint speed is okay. That would need bumping up, I think, as, especially with the level of uh, attacker you're facing these days. A lot of the team of the season cards, um, the, the new objective card, keep forgetting how to say his name, Fuenzida? No, that's wrong, but you know what I mean. What's his name? Fuenza leader. He, he is fantastic. Go check out that review. But he's so fast. Same with Nani. They're both unbelievably quick. You are going to need pace. So just for argument's sake, Shadow, 99 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. And then he has very high 90s for his defensive stats. He's 96 rated centre back. His composure, ball control and reactions are fantastic. Physicals are, are brilliant. Don't need more stamina than that. Immediate short passing is very good. The only real concern is that he's 6'3 with 61 balance and 77 agility. He might not feel like Manalas agile, but I still think that's a, a pretty decent card. If it was on the market, would it be 200, 250? Uh, probably not, no, because of how cheap Marquinhos and Thiago Silva are. So, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think... These type of cards, realistically, only are only going to appeal to those who are doing League SBC method, picking them up, and then maybe you could put them in your club, put them in your team, and use them if you're a fan of them. But otherwise, they are generally going to be fodder. And it's a shame that the people who can afford to do them are usually the people who don't need them. The other side of that coin is if you have prepared for this and you've been super efficient all year and you've essentially just been submitting a team every now and again when you get the cards, maybe your team isn't particularly very good. And you could then finally complete them when they've dropped them for Team of the Seasons, and he might be an addition to your team. But generally, I think it's not a bad card. I just don't think there's ever going to be a situation where someone is able to use it properly outside of just having a bit of fun in Rivals. And if that's your bag, then, then go for it. Jonathan Rodriguez, the card that I'm looking forward to the most... Uh, obviously, we don't have the price of this uh, for some reason. I don't know why, but um, three, three star, three star, which means I'm no longer looking forward to it. No, I'm joking. It's, I mean, three star, three star is not the end of the world. It's just if you want to try and take him into champs, it, it then becomes a little bit like, oh, it's just going to be a slog. Love his stamina. I like his balance and his, his agility. His dribbling looks good. His pace is insane. High attacking work rate is really good. Average body type is a bit of a shame. Considering he's 5'10", if he had a lean body type, we'd be laughing. The position, finishing, shot power is all nice. Long shots are okay. The passing is woeful. We kind of knew that would be the case anyway. 
So, I mean, what do you want there? Do you want the? Do you need the passing? I, I think you probably do. So, dead eye. If you play four two three one, generally speaking, you should be somewhat of a possession player. And if you're not, then that's fine. But you should be looking to maybe keep the ball a little bit more than uh, than you would do in other formations. So maybe a dead eye would be the good way to go. But again, same with this card. Unless you're a fan of the player or the club, if you complete it, it's probably going to go into an SBC. You might use it for a couple of games just to see what it's like, but I don't really see many people going after that. And finally, we have Gil. I'm not going to try and say his first name. Uh, this card looks interesting. Out of, out of the three, I think this is the one that people would be more inclined to want to use. And the reason for that is because he does fit in with the way the majority of us play. You know, the high or relatively high agility, the lean body type, the, the quick player uh, should be pretty good in terms of ball control and things like that. Does have a short and lean body type, which uh, Fuen... What's this? I keep forgetting his name. Fuen's a leader. I don't know why I keep having... I've got a mental block on that guy's name. Fuen's a leader is short and lean. I think he's 5'7". He's unbelievably quick. He's great on the ball. He's good in front of goal. This card is reminiscent of that in terms of stats. I don't think it's as good as the objective card, which does sort of beg the question, really. Why are the League SBC cards not as good as the objective cards? Because we're not having to... Like, you'd think from an EA standpoint, they would want to make the objective card maybe like the League SBC in terms of quality, and they would want to make the League SBC cards as good as the, they've, the objectives have been in terms of quality, because that we're spending money to get those. We're not spending money to get the objectives. They have got it the wrong way around from their point of view. From our point of view, it's fantastic, right? Because we can just work towards that Fuenza leader eh? uh, for free, which is great. The review for him is on the channel, by the way. Spoiler alert, he's brilliant. This card does look similar. Unfortunately, I just think it's going to fall a little bit short of what people expect to get at this stage. A little, just a few extra stats here or there, bumping up by like five or so. He's had a mammoth upgrade from that um, that 75, though. I mean, look at the state of it. 25 here, 20 there, 17, 16, 20. His physicals in particular have gone up huge. It's a massive upgrade. It's not a terrible card by any stretch, but I just think for the type of people who will be completing the league SBCs, you won't have a use for it because you'll have better cards already. This one is for fans of New England, of the, of the player himself, and maybe a team that he's played for previously. But apart from that, I just think they're going to be good fodder. It's nice to have them at the end, and I think this is probably the best of the three, but it's a shame that EA don't just go a little bit mad and, and give them like 92 rated cards that have been boosted a little bit more up to the standard of Fuenza Lida or maybe even like Nani. I just think if you're capable of doing it and you've planned ahead, you probably don't need it, which is really, it's a conflicting thing. I, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of those cards in the comments. I've probably chatted far too long about them that's the team i'm submitting for that by the way just a bunch of non rares the rares i've gone with silvers they are from the championship so they might have a little bit of value but they're untradeable so i don't really care about them and i'm not doing uh, the championship again on this account so there we go we've completed that for a prime electrum like i said i don't have like crazy packs or anything i'm kind of hoping to sell my savonier at some point i don't think he's going to go though the cheapest on the market was 120k and obviously someone's undercut me but there we go we've got two Okay, Pax, I mean, it only takes one rare, right? Let's do the Prime Electrum, because this one is the untradeable. The other one is tradable. Let's just hope for two boards, just for a bit of... Ex nope, never mind. Let's hope for a board in the last one, just for a bit of excitement. Oh, we do get it. Oh, well, I mean, to be fair, that's not actually a bad pack, is it? I hate those cards. They kill the hype. I mean, if I'd seen board then, that's actually a very good pack, considering. If I saw board... I would have been satisfied to not get a board in the next one because I would have had my little... Oh, is it a team of the season? Oh, it's not. You know, my my Roy Hodgson moment. But unfortunately, EA have screwed me out of the enjoyment of that one. I hate those Libertadores Sudamericana cards that pop up first. Let me know what you think of those League SBC cards in the comments. Some, some positives to take away, sure. Uh, and again, no board there. I say again. There might be. Who knows? No, there isn't on that occasion. But, um... At least we can keep the, at least we can keep the uh, the rays and, and use them on Thursday. Of course, tomorrow we are going to get our guaranteed team of the seasons. Hopefully, I don't pack a stinker, and uh, hopefully we get rewarded finally from the guaranteeds. Uh, but uh, there we have it. If you have enjoyed today's content, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.
Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.